Iverson draws Jordan now. Watch this. I believe we can learn from the greats. What moves made their careers? Their drive to create a legacy. I'm trying to grow my catalog of moves so I can pull them out whenever I like. I believe we can learn from the greats so we can be great too. On this little mini series, we're going to be diving into some of the greatest signature moves that the NBA has had to offer and trying to add them to our bag. Welcome to Learning from Legends. What's going on guys? I am T Fish here back with a brand new video. Today we have another episode of learning from legends this was a series that i used to do way back in the day so today on learning from legends we are taking a look at Shaq's unstoppable drop step move as suggested by the comment left on one of my older learning from legends videos if i can find it i will put it on the screen this was one of Shaq's go-to moves and because he was so big and so dominant he actually got a lot of poster dunks like this now i'm not saying you can start poster dunking people with this move however when pulled off correctly the drop step is one of the most unstoppable moves within the game of basketball i'm going to show you three essential tips to getting this move off against anyone let's get into it first there are two directions to go in a drop step you can either drop step front side or drop step Backside. Backside is far better and significantly easier to pull off than a front side drop step. You don't really see a whole lot of people do this. A lot of people doing the front side drop step do it more in a pro hop uh, version of it. So it's a little bit different than doing an actual drop step. But either way is effective. Just stick with backside if you're new to this. First tip is foot placement. If you're going to drop step backside, you want your lead foot directly in between your opponent's two feet. For front side, you want either equal or ahead of your opponent's lead foot. So what I mean by this is you're going to want to place your lead foot, whatever foot that is, if you're on the right block, you're going to want your right foot in between his two feet. Or if you're going on the left block, you're going to want your left foot in between his two. And if you're doing a front side drop step, you're going to want to be equal with or ahead of his front side foot. Second tip is you want to spin off their shoulder. Spinning off their shoulder allows you to halt a solid percentage of their movement and also makes and also makes tip three far easier to pull off if you can kind of block them in with your body already. Spinning off their shoulder means they can't turn as easy because your body's already connecting with that. Now on the off chance that they get to rotate before you can, then it makes it a little bit difficult, but tip three is still good. So our third tip is lock them in with your elbows. When you're spinning drop step and you want to go, we'll say backside for this example, you're going to spin off their shoulder. You're going to hold your elbows out like you just caught a rebound you want to clear out. You're going to hold your elbows out and you're going to lock them behind you. This is going to stop the rest of the movement. This gets tricky because this is old school pro thought process on how to do this. But with the game today, you don't want an excess of content like you, contact. You don't want to like just go right into their spine or their shoulder or whatever because they're called fouls on breathing at this point. So lightly lock them in with your elbows. Don't give up your position though. Enough where they're not going to overtake you and enough where you're not going to beat the shit out of them. This will halt the rest of the defensive movements. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what signature move you want to see me break down next. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out.